What's going on there guys? Good afternoon. It is the Earthmaster here on the live stream with an update video on this Tuesday, June 7th, 2022 date. Almost into the second week of June already. It's about 11.52 uh, a.m. California time. Latest quake shows some movement out around the uh, Oklahoma area. It looks like 2.0 coming in into the region of the northern Oklahoma area. Let's go ahead and check out the latest activity here from the USGS map showing yeah, a little bit of activity kicking up overnight. Uh, no major events uh, to report currently. Doing, definitely seeing a little bit of swarming activity around the Indonesia area where we did see a 5.6 north of this region right here where we kind of watching the line of activity here. Uh, also some movement up here north on the uh, Towards the Java Trench, northern end, it looks like. I had a 4.5. Uh, that earthquake was uh, late last night. Kind of came into the region there. Uh, looking at a dying down of activity here through the Fiji Islands area. I'm still watching this area pretty closely. I uh, just haven't seen any major adjustment uh, along the Kermadec Trench in a little while. Uh, Vanuatu area seen a pair of 4.9s, the magic number. One south of Port Bella, one just north. Looks like uh, one deep and one shallow. Had a shallow one first, followed up by a little bit deeper activity there quite a few hours uh, later, but this earthquake earlier this morning. Uh, looking at the Southern Pacific, pretty quiet out there. The big island, 2.5 and above, shows a couple earthquakes. Uh, most of these, it looks like yesterday and uh, late last night time frame. Got to go to the all magnitudes map here to uh, see what we got. Looks a little spotty today. One earthquake within the last hour south of the uh, Pahala area 2.2 right there in the uh, southeastern region where we typically see quite a bit of uh, swarming uh, let's see what we got for Japan up here not a whole lot going on through Japan off the coast of uh, uh, well off the coast of the uh, Taiwan area Got a 5.1. I was looking at the timestamp on that. I believe that one there was uh, an older quake from yesterday. The uh, Northern Mariana Islands did see one, a more recent quake. Pretty deep though into the uh, Mariana Trench at 221 kilometers. So a little bit of heightened activity here. Quite a bit of deeper movement along the trench area. Uh, not a whole lot going on through the Coral Kamchaka Trench or the uh, now yeah, we got a little bit of swarming going on up here around the Aleutian Islands, it looks like. Looks like a uh, quite a few threes and a couple fours in the mix right within that area where we've seen the 6.3 a couple days ago. Uh, still seeing some movement here. And um, a lot of it's kind of spread out, getting some shallow movement and some deeper earthquake activity in here. That could be building up to something much stronger uh, I know this area can see uh, a lot bigger earthquakes than a 6.3, so uh, continuing to watch this area along the Aleutian Trench for some possible uh, further movement. Also further east here, seen a pretty deep uh, earthquake this morning, uh, 4.1 at 160 kilometers at, into the subduction zone as well, way down there. So this whole area kind of under quite a bit of adjustment, not a whole lot going on through the mainland, just some microquakes. No major activity um, into the states. Of course, we had that activity around Portland last night, kicking up, uh, and also the Vancouver area. Uh, seen a 2.7. Looks like they dropped the magnitude a little bit. It was originally a uh, 2.8. It was felt pretty broadly over the region, but they've downgraded this to a 2.7. And uh, here's the Did You Fill It reports. Areas throughout Portland, Vancouver area, Battleground, all reported some a uh, little bit of light shaking out there. And uh, not 100% certain exactly which fault system this occurred on. I know there's uh, there's definitely a couple of faults that run through this area. I'll have to look into more detail on that uh, at a later date. Uh, one area that is seeing a little bit of movement today. Look at this. And uh, let's see. All this activity looks like it's kind of kicked up following the 2.7 yesterday there around the Vancouver and the Portland area. A little bit of swarming around Mount Hood today. 
right around the volcano. Beautiful volcano. I love traveling up here <coughs> along the Columbia River and uh, through the Dalles and seeing all the uh, the greenery and that beautiful volcano out there. But uh, it's definitely, uh, what do we got here? These are pretty shallow earthquakes. Uh, some of them pretty, surf uh, pretty much to the surface. A couple earthquakes down there though, about seven kilometers. We'll go ahead and check out the um, recorded map here at uh, Mount Hood real quick. It's not really a volcano we monitor too much. Uh, the USGS and the PNSN network is monitoring it or at least reporting the earthquake activity. Looks like um, pretty consistent in terms of, uh, hey, at least reporting it. That's a good thing, right? Let's see what a recorded graph looks like though. Yeah, there's at least one of those earthquakes there around the looks like the 1400 time stamp. So 1400 time stamp is going to be that 1.3 right here, 1345. That's going to be the 1345 1.3 earthquake. And it looks like there was a couple smaller earthquakes here. The 2.7 in Portland showed up just as a little blip on the radar here but a uh, very localized earthquake for the 1.3 not for sure what this is it's very consistent uh in time and the signature of whatever this is here kind of looks like some type of machinery or or uh, a man-made interference uh the prior day well, that's kind of a little odd looking. This is a weird graph. I'm not for sure if I'm really trusting this thing. Looks like just a lot of interference. If this was earthquake activity or magma, it would not look like that. Let's go ahead and see if I can find a different station. Uh, and there's not a whole lot. I mean, there's a couple scattered out and about. We'll check out this activity. Maybe a little bit closer here to the swarm. Um, not swarm, but the earthquakes that we've seen uh, overnight and this morning there. Uh, give it a second. Hopefully it loads. Timberland? Timberline? Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. This one's just... I don't even see the earthquake. 1345 timestamp. I don't even see that 1.3 in there. It's a little cluttered. Not for sure what's going on. The 2.7 did come in here a little bit. But, uh, man, it looks like a whole lot of noise or who knows what is going on here at the uh, Mount Hood region let's check out another graph here it kind of got me uh, a little interested here we check okay so we check this one out check that one out let's see if we can pick up uh, this little six component <coughs> broadband station Mount Hood Meadows and then we'll check out the GPS uh, stations here in a little bit. See if we got any uh, unusual activity being recorded there at Mount Hood. Something I always like to look at. A lot of wind events going on up here. Very staticky. There's a 2.7 uh, in Portland. I'm not even seeing that 1345 earthquake here. So it didn't really show up as far as that 1.3 goes on this station. If there was further earthquake activity, we'd, we'd definitely be seeing it. And there's not a whole lot, definitely not a whole lot there at Mount Hood. Just those couple small, very small earthquakes being recorded. And it only showed up on one seismograph. Uh, looking at the GPS network map here, we can go up to Mount Hood and see what we got far as any type of um, uh, maybe unusual activity. But we're, nothing up at the top, I'm surprised. They're at the tip of Mount Hood. Most of these GPS stations are at the base of it. A little odd. Uh, looking at the data that re records the uh, east movement, north movement, vertical displacement. All looks typical and normal. No abnormal um, vertical displacement at all. Even up in the 2022 range. At least for that GPS station. We'll go ahead and check the north end out as well. This one. See what this one is here. This looks a little 
Yeah, it goes to 2022, 2021.5. Imagine if you had to say that every year or uh, every time you set a date. Yeah, it's a year 2022.3.5. But um, yeah, it looks, uh, looks about the same. No major abnormal uh, readings here. It kind of shows a pretty steady as she goes across the board for the uh, displacements. But uh, either way, a little bitty swarm, so to speak, going on. Actually, somewhat active up there around the uh, Pacific Northwest recently, and I'm sure there's way more than what's going on here. Uh, Mount St. Helens, a little activity outside of there. I uh, guess we should check the trimmer map on that as well, or at least the volcanic recorded activity, Mount St. Helens, and see, what, uh, see what's up there today. This one here. They have uh, quite a few stations keyed up right on top here. Maybe they can't get up to Mount Hood, but I don't know. I think they would. Maybe it's not of concern right now. But looking at the uh, Mount St. Helens recorded graph. Give it a second here. It does take a little time to load on occasion. There's the 2.7 got picked up pretty significantly there uh, from Portland uh, on the Mount St. Helens station. And uh, there was another one following that. This is a closer one to Mount St. Helens. I believe this one came in uh, almost immediately after the Portland earthquake activity. Uh, but still definitely quite a few little spikes of earthquakes within this region. And PNSN not reporting uh, any activity here since the 2nd of June. Even though there's definitely some activity showing up, right? We, we see it. Pretty clear as day. Uh, the tremor map from last night, not a whole lot going on. 66 epicenters along the Pacific Northwest Cascadia subduction zone here. And uh, just kind of watching it. It's been pretty active. We can get in closer on these gaps right here when it comes to the time uh, that we see large tremor events. Seems like they're filling in. I don't know what that means. Does it mean that we're heading to the big one? Who knows? We won't know until that happens. And then we can go back and look at data uh, but it's definitely always good to um, be on guard up there in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, let's see, California activity. One earthquake down here on the southern end of the Cascadia Megathrust, a 2.7 at 15 kilometers. And uh, some linear activity up and down the board when it comes to uh, a couple different fault systems here around the Bay Area. The Hayward Fault running into the San Andreas Fault. Uh, and also a little bit of activity. Got a little activity here around the Cobb Mountain region, but man, I still think they turned uh, turned off the notifications there for that area. And uh, some Ridgecrest earthquake activity happening today. Southern California further south, lighten up a little bit on the Pacific side of the plate boundary. Couple very small microquakes up and down the board here. Uh, no major swarms to report around the Salton Sea or the southern segment of the san andreas fault a little activity up in yellowstone it looks like i uh, got a little bit of swarm going on there about eight earthquakes or so uh, in yellowstone in the yellowstone region go ahead and check out the um, yellowstone overview right now see if we can spot those earthquakes down here in the south i tell you what when yellowstone when yellowstone has hiccups uh she does it in extreme fashion that's for sure these little blips here are all earthquakes, and there's quite a few of them. Let's see, what's the USGS reporting? Nine. The largest one, a 1.5 at about 17.39 UTC time. 17.39. There's a bunch of them. There's definitely a lot more than nine. There's a good 20 or so within this line itself. But uh, Yellowstone has these little hiccups. And they uh, spit out, she spits out quite a few earthquakes in a short amount of time and then just kind of just dies off. But uh, something to watch because these little swarms can turn into big ones and they can last for months. Um, but right now, just kind of keeping an eye on it. Uh, it is showing up all across the southern end of the park. A little activity here around Maple Creek, separate it looks like from the swarm down south. But, uh, hey, they're reporting those, that's for sure. Uh, what do we got? Texas activity. Oklahoma, one earthquake here within the last hour near Perry, Oklahoma, 1.9. This is, uh, let's see what we got out here, folks, shall we? Shall we look at the satellite view? 
Real. Looks like uh, I don't see any localized, unless they're old and wiped off the map, uh, oil operations out there. Not a whole lot within this vicinity. Doesn't mean there wasn't any at one time. A couple farmhouses out here. But overall, not any type of major swarming going on. Uh, just a couple small microquakes there. New Madrid zone, pretty quiet right now. Eastern part of the country as well. Uh, Puerto Rico and areas around the Caribbean, all just kind of a, a typical day. No major swarms, no major movement to report. Same for the South America region, a 4.5 in Argentina. The Atlantic Ocean did see a little activity, a little swarms of fives and a, a four or so in this little mix. Most of it last night. Looks like all of it from last night. Uh, rest of the world here. Uh, not a whole lot of activity throughout the Mediterranean or the Middle East. Just a couple earthquakes around the Afghanistan area. Aside from that, uh, no major events yet. Earthquakes Canada map. Uh, let's see what we got. Uh, low activity hit hitting the uh, northern end of the, uh, towards the Cascadia. I think this earthquake came in last night. Six, uh, actually, that came in early this morning, it looks like. 12.05 UTC time. A couple earthquakes throughout the BC and the Yukon Territory up here. 3.3. So a little activity, definitely some heightened movement across this area of the North American plate. Uh, over the past uh, 24 hours or so, solar weather activity is kind of uh, not a... Not a hot topic right now, is it? Kind of level across the board. Everything's in the green. No major sunspots that are facing us. Things kind of looking uh, pretty calm for right now in the sun. I'm sure that will change. No doubt that will change. Just give it some time. Goes through these little, even though we're heading towards the solar maximum, it's not maximum all the time. Uh, it just goes through these little phases of um, sunspot. You know, a lot of sunspots. To, hardly any sunspots and right now we're on the earth side of the sun here obviously and not a whole lot of sunspots so we'll see how it comes in the uh in the coming days and the weeks ahead all right guys have a good day stay safe out there make sure you uh of course always have an earthquake plan right earthquakes we know can happen pretty much anywhere but i think uh, with all the activity kind of kicking up there around the pacific northwest uh, definitely uh, make sure you got your earthquake stuff uh double checked and whatnot just have it ready all right, guys, have a good day, stay safe, and we will chat you a little bit later. Peace out, everyone.